Listen, I've got to admit that this is my 24th time that I come to, to Cannes. And I have to say that in these 24 years, it has changed dramatically. It used to be a moment for creatives from advertising agencies, and that was really in the past. Today, Cannes is about brands. It's about brands being, being built through different opportunities. All our clients are here. All the technology providers, digital partners are here. And if you look at Cannes today, it's, a, it's incomparably different to what it used to be. Today, I think, is the center of innovation and creativity for our industry. And that's why we're all here. It's a place where once a year we can spend a week together plotting what is really happening in our industry, thinking about the future, and focusing on innovation. So all of us, ourselves, our clients, uh, media owners, uh, etc., etc., everybody's here organizing different events beyond the festival to take advantage of this huge opportunity of being of the, on, in the center of innovation and creativity in, uh, in the world. Great opportunity. I think it's more than 20 thousand people now it used to be two or three thousand only a few years ago so a huge increase and then of course it's, it's the awards which uh, which is a great opportunity to compare the work that we do every day uh, throughout more than 100 markets with the work that others do and it's the only time really in this big global award so that you can you can check the quality of your ideas the quality of your innovation and benchmark it across a competition and as you know we are all extremely competitive in this industry so there is nothing better than a good competition to see if we're going to win Great, and tell us about what's happening with video and television, the transformation both in the U.S. and globally, how people are consuming, and the opportunities for brands, and the opportunities for creative people. It's a, it's a great question. Uh, we had a meeting a couple of hours ago here with uh, some clients uh, from Latin America. And uh, it was uh, very clear, including Brazil, which is a huge market, it was very clear that there was a separation between television and video. Then we had another meeting with some clients coming from Western Europe and the US and everything was about video in the sense of it doesn't matter what the platform is, if it is, if it is television, if it is uh, internet based or, or, or whatever. They see it as, as video uh, independently from uh, which screen is it actually going to transmit it to, uh, to a specific uh, audience. So uh, a development which is different across the, the world. But I think that more and more the importance is that we, we, we have great content that we can share with, uh, uh, with users in different ways, with different platforms. And as we always discuss, uh, uh, more and more people, especially in the younger segments, uh, use video and content and television in very different ways from, uh, from the one that we were used to five or ten years ago. And what are the opportunities for creativity and for the creative agencies to, because it was sort of defined to the 30 second spot, it's different now, isn't it? Um, well, what is the opportunity, where do things have to go from a creative level, from the agency level? I think the opportunity is to personalize the content for the audience uh, that we didn't have uh, when we had a uh, mass uh, broadcast on television, where, of course, a 30-second spot had to work for uh, big masses of consumers. Today, you can segment, uh, you can better understand your targeting, and you can, have, you can have the right content for the right audience, which I think is what makes the difference. So I think on one side, we are having a lot more different content, which is right for whichever platform and whichever audience. On the other side, instead of having one 30-second spot, we have a lot more content that we can share. And I think that quantity is one of the things that has made it very different because we can't just have a one piece of content uh, for everybody across all platforms. We just need to personalize it so much more. So big communication ideas then adapted to whichever is the format uh, for that specific uh, segment of the target group. We have to achieve scale and we've got to do it at a price. Uh, otherwise, uh, the, uh, the production of the communication is going to be higher than the cost of the media. So it has to be done efficiently. It has to be done across different uh, segments of the population, across different languages, across different geographies. And I think there is a big surge of efficiency because we need a lot more content. But of course, it has to work within a budget.